Okay, here are just a few things that you can do to help build your core strength. Okay, I go into more depth on this in my other tutorials, but this, I just wanted to share some things, this and some stretches, um, you know, with everybody, so you guys have something to work on. And uh, for those who are trying to master the shoulder mount, this could definitely be a good stepping stone for you. And also for those who just want to really crunch those abs and get a good workout. Okay? Take the pole, put it like you're going to do a shoulder mount, right between here, with the shoulder blade, and the soft, fleshy area. Not too close to your shoulder, too far away, and not too close to your neck, just in that perfect position. Ear is parallel with the pole. Use your cupped baseball grip, please. And slowly and more controlled than your usual scissor kicks. Kick up powerfully as possible, but as slowly and controlled as possible so that you're using the most ab strength, okay? Do, try to do four to eight reps of this depending on your strength and you will feel some good workout and it also really works out the arms as well anything in a shoulder mount position does require a lot of arm strength but you feel this in your core so just practice at home and hopefully this will help you in two ways with your shoulder mount learning and also with your core strength training. All right, something a little harder once you've nailed that to try is just another way that you can learn to gain strength for the shoulder mount or for other moves that require a lot of core strength. If it's too much for you to take right now, I encourage you to sit this one out and leave it alone for a while and then come back to it later. Okay, cup baseball grip, all right. And we're going to pull our knees into our body and down. Try to hold it a second or two if possible. It's really hard to bring your legs off the floor simply lifting them up rather than having the kick. So this is much more difficult and requires a lot of strength on both your arms and your core. More so than the one before this. Don't overdo it. Don't overstrain yourself. Be careful. And like everything, take things in moderation. You don't want to end up with a lot of sore muscles here and here when you wake up in the morning. I know it's no pain, no gain, but don't push yourself too hard. And a few things you can do using your pole for core strength is your basic sit-ups. But of course, it's much more of a workout to do a sit-up from a cross knee release than it is on the ground. So you're going to feel it within a few reps. So if you can do 200 on the floor, you might be able to do 10 or 20 on here, and that's fine. But it's just an exercise you can try using your pull because nobody feels like working out on top of pull work because that's like such a workout as it is that Oh, if you do have to try to strength train, it's always fun to be able to use your pull as an aid. Gives you a little more motivation. But I feel that right here, and I didn't do too many reps. So you can also do that from a cross ankle release. But, um, well, maybe I'll show you a couple. I haven't tried that, but I got the idea this morning. No need to come all the way up. What I'm doing here is just fine. Make sure you have a solid lock on your cross knee and cross ankle release before you ah, do these, obviously. And have a mat down for safety in case you get worn out and somehow buckle because anything is possible and I don't want you guys to get hurt. 
But those are just a few nice core exercises and arm exercises. They help with both some of them that you can try at home to condition yourself for pole dancing and the tougher skills to come. Good luck.